Hi guys, BVG Hill here. Welcome back to another episode of Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy Remastered. The freaking mouse cursor is still up on the screen. I never know if it's going to show up in the, the recording or not. But like I always say, if it does show up, I greatly apologize. There's literally nothing I can do. It will not go away. But anyways, I think that we are going to go go Lucas on this one. It seems to be January 27th. We're throwing up in a bank bathroom. It's still minus 10 Celsius outside. We're just having a fantastic time, apparently. I was burning with fever. I was shaking all over. The migraine was back and drilling holes into my brain. And to top it off, I couldn't keep enough food down. My body seemed to be fighting against something, but I still didn't know why. Well, let's wash our hands because we just threw up all over the place. Wash our face. Okay. Is this the way out? Yes. Okay. So we're having a fantastic day, it seems. Are we at work? Do we work just here? Live my life, no matter what. Don't raise any suspicions. Despite the state I was in, I decided to go to work as though nothing had happened. Oh. I'm in charge of computer maintenance in the Naser and Jones Bank. Sweet my computer. Aw, oh, dude. Do you know what time it is? What's wrong with you? I had a little problem on the way back in. I had to go back home and change my clothes. <phone rings> Lucas Kane. Hello, Lucas. Oh, hello, Tiffany. I left a message on your machine last night. Um, I'd like to come and pick up some stuff at your place. Could I come over tonight? Yes. I should be back home around 8 o'clock tonight. Okay, it won't take too long. Are you doing okay, Lucas? I gotta let you go. I'm doing a thing here. Bye. Get ready for what? Look out, the cup! Lucas? Is there a problem? No, I, I, I just thought... It seemed so real. I saw that coffee cup fall. What is this? Is that the Tiffany we just spoke to? Tiffany and I. About yeah. two years ago, I guess. I haven't been able to throw it away yet. Oh, or they broke up. Oh boy. Let's go on the computer then. <laughs> Lucas? You okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I don't like that guy. Let's get back to work again here. Watch the cup. Hello? Yes, sir. We'll get on that right away. Station 62 is down. I'll go. No, forget it. I'll, I'll handle it. Whatever you say. Yeah, we'll handle it. We need to go walk around and stuff. It happened. Just like I'd seen it. Like the cop in the apartment. Is it possible that I can really see things before they happen? It's part of the twitchy dude possession syndrome. Didn't you know that, Lucas? It's twitchy dude possession syndrome thing. Once you get possessed by a demon crow once, then, uh... Oh, this is also another side effect. Seeing creepy bug men and dudes in hoods. You know, that's just, just part, part of the stuff. I mean, you get the cool stuff, like seeing the future, but at the same time, you know, you get to, you start seeing nasty stuff. Like the, the creepy bug things. 
Apparently. Move. Okay, I finally understand what I'm supposed to do. Those are the analog sticks. Great, right? Yeah, great. No. You're not taking me, creepy bug man. I'll wreck you, fool! That's right. Get some. Yeah, that's right. Like some Matrix stuff. Get ready. Roll, dodge roll, epic dodge roll. Roll! Oh my god, we're a rolling master. Rolling master. Creaking maestro. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. This is intense. Oh my gosh. Look at this guy. We're a freaking beast. Dude, thanks. No! So, are we doing all this in the real Lucas, world? Lucas, Lucas, what happened? Ah! Did you hear me? Are you all right? Hey, you've hurt yourself. You're bleeding. I, uh, I gotta go. I didn't have the slightest idea what had happened, but one thing I do know. You're hallucinating, Those Lucas. Killed me. You are hallucinating. So now we're gonna go for Carla. We're gonna do all three of these in this episode, and that's how, that's where we'll end it. So now we're doing an autopsy in the mortuary. Whew! Those are some shiny floors. Like I said in Dreamfall, it would suck to be whoever has to mop and buff those things regularly. Good grief. So I'm assuming that's the guy from the restaurant, even though he doesn't really look like him. Probably because he doesn't have the glasses on, okay, maybe. Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, if you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. We are Detective Valenti. As you wish. We aren't afraid of some blood and guts. Come on. No apparent hematoma on the body. Two broken fingernails on the right hand. He didn't see the murder until the last moment. He didn't have time to struggle. Even though he was looking in the mirror, could have easily seen what was going on. Large hematoma on the back of the cranium. Uh... Mm. Fracture of the occipital bone. He cracked his head when he fell. Abnormal dilation in, um, both pupils. 
Did I do it? I did it. Yay! Why are his pupils dilated? What did he see before he died? He saw some shit. That's Three what he knife saw. wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. Uh, the blade was driven in deeply. So up the stab to five to have stabs. Been delivered from the front and move from left to right. Okay. The murderer was left handed. One stab neatly cut the aorta. And the other two cut the left and right coronary artery. No, he really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. Do you think the killer had some knowledge of anatomy? Yeah, it's not impossible, but I doubt that someone who understood human anatomy would do this. You'd really have to be deranged to want to provoke a slow and agonizing death in this map. Well, I think maybe he it was. It was definitely the knife wounds that caused his death. Yeah. Deranged at the, the time, being possessed. Tends to make yeah, a person deranged, at least temporarily. Disconnected from the rest of the body. I uh, saw a case like this once before. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Karsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten. Yes, that's it, Kirsten. Oh, you know about that case? Uh -huh. Not yet. I'm sure as hell gonna find out. So she's the one that sent us the email. Last episode. Oh yes, the Funk Come Master. Uh, hello, Detective. Hello, Mrs. Funk Morrison. Master Tyler. Thanks for taking the trouble to come down. Please take a seat. Now we're gonna try and assemble a composite photo of the suspect you saw. We have a computer program to help us. You'll see, it's really simple. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, Mrs. Morrison? No. I doesn't Come on, matter. Mrs. You're gonna Morrison. Do fine. The most important thing Live a is little. to try to remember I exactly guess, what happened. I don't know. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay, let's go. So am I supposed to do this right, or can I make it wrong to save Lucas here? Sure. Now, is this the face of the person you saw? Yes. At least, th that's how I remember him. 50 to 75 percent. Fairly similar. We're going to get this picture out to all the airports, <laughs> trains, and bus stations, and to all of our... Did we just make the game harder for us later? I think we York. did. We're going to find him. But hey. And go buy yourself a video game. Yeah. Subliminal advertising in their own game. Hey, go buy Fahrenheit Indigo Prophecy. It's good. Let's think. I felt empty. After what happened at the office, I began to wonder if I wasn't going nuts. Mm -hmm. I'm so totally exhausted that I can't fall asleep. I'm afraid of the mm -hmm. dreams I might have. I wander around the room a little. I guess I'll go to sleep when I can't keep my eyes open any longer. Ah. Let's throw, throw back a shot or two. Holy crap, did he just chug the whole freaking bottle? Sheesh. Way to be a champ. Video games notch up new victims. The investigation into the carnage at Chicago High School has made significant progress over the last few days. Several dozen violent video games were found in the room of the two adolescent killers. The investigators are in no doubt about the link with the killing. The killings. These video games are extremely violent. Easily influenced adolescents try to reproduce the same scenes in real life. Policeman is reported to have said. Several associations have already announced that they are going to demand a law forbidding all video games for players under the age of 18. Wow. 
The responsibility of the arms dealer who sold them the weapons is not in question. The problem is not the availability of weapons, declared a spokesman for the National Gun Owners Syndicate. Every American citizen has the right to buy and bear firearms. The real problem is those video games. They are a veritable threat to your youth. Now, it's obvious that this is making fun of that whole situation where people say that video games are the problem. And I agree. They're not the problem. Video games are not the problem. I mean, it's about the parents. I'm going to get a little controversial here. It's about the parents. Honestly, it is, in my opinion. It's about the parents. If parents raise their kids right and make it abundantly clear and make them understand that the things that they see in video games are not real and you should not do them in real life. That's why it's in a video game. Because you can't do these things in real life. Tell your kids that. Make sure they know. Talk to your kids. Be a good parent. And your kids won't grow up to be mass murderers because of video games. No. Anyways, moving on, out of the philo philo philosophical discussion here. The weather, more snow. The world, ultimate amends the day. Cool. Good enough for me. Wasn't planning on getting super, super controversial and getting into all of the these you know controversial issues in the world today oh, man. there we go now he's ready for sleep who's this is that Tiffany coming I better not have to find that stupid key again the freaking door better be just unlocked Hello? Hi. Hi. I came to pick up my stuff. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, I'm just a little bit sleepy. Come in. She's cute. Want something to drink? I think there's still a bottle of gin laying around in the kitchen somewhere if you want. Yeah, I'd love some. Oh. Oh, maybe we don't have... Maybe I drank all of it. Okay, no, apparently not. We still got gin left. Thanks. I'll go and get your stuff. It's just two boxes. I'm not sure exactly where they'd be now, but they shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, they've got my initials on them. Here they are. I think that's everything. Is everything okay, Lucas? You look stressed. I... I've got some big problems right now. I can't really talk about it, but it's fairly serious stuff. If there's anything that I can do for you, Lucas... Man, I wish there was, but no. Thanks for offering. Hey, I, I miss you, you know? I miss you too. Well then, let's go in for a kiss. I don't know if it's gonna work, but... Like, what's the deal with these two then? I'm still not ready, Lucas. I need some more time to be alone. I'm sorry, I, I shouldn't have... I'm gonna go. Thanks for everything. So complicated. I mean, if you dig each other, pursue it. If you don't, don't pursue it. There shouldn't be gray area. I mean, if you dig each other... I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to. Maybe it was better this way. After all, I had no idea what was going to happen to me in the next 24 hours. What could I offer at this point to a girl like Tiffany? By letting her go, I was protecting her. I went to bed. There was nothing else for me to do but try to sleep and find out what tomorrow was going to bring. And on that note, we'll end the episode there. And we'll find out what tomorrow is going to bring in the next episode. Remember!
If you liked the video, hit the like button down below. If you really liked the video, hit the subscribe button below. And if this video just completely blew your mind, then make sure to share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones, random people on the street, whatever floats your boat. And I'll see you in the next video. See you later.